Over here. Today I am testing out the custom boss bars in Minecraft 1.13 by using them in quest systems. So I actually have a quest book here, and if I open up, you can see I actually have four different quests to do. So let's say I want to choose one of the side quests, which is to kill five mobs. You can actually see mob deaths appears at the top in red. And if I kill five mobs, you can see the progress actually increases. And I actually get a reward. These also have custom text as well here. So to kind of complete the quest feel and as well as the reward that you get. The next quest is to craft 20 torches. So if I do that, you can actually see in gold the boss bar, and even when I'm crafting, if I put this down here, you can see in the background the boss bar actually is imprinted. And everything I'm doing, I'm doing here is in multiple five, so I got my reward of the glowstone block. The third side quest is to enchant five items. And so if I go and do that, once again, you can see the boss bar is in blue. And the boss bar will increment. As I enchant these items. And you can see I have five bottles of Uh, the next one actually is a little different. Uh, to, it is to light this end portal. And so if I put the Eye of Ender in, you'll notice a slight delay for, from the boss bar. And that is because it's using a slightly different system to do the boss bar events. But if I do finish this, it'll give me my reward of an iron sword. And of course, the end portal will play. So, yeah, basically, what this is doing is it's using the new store command from a while ago. So, if you somehow, if you guys somehow haven't heard this already, uh, execute uh, basically store the result of boss bar, and the ID of that one is three. And what it's doing is it's basically storing the result of the scoreboard objective that I set up for killing mobs into the boss bar. So it's basically saying what is the result from or how many what is the value of my score for mobs killed and then setting that as the value or the hit points if you will of the boss bar. So that's basically a little experimentation with boss bars and the quest systems. So theoretically, you could build an entire adventure map and have a progression, progression bar at the top. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all later. Bye.